You've probably seen monk's bread at Wegmans, but you may not know that bread is actually baked by monks just a short drive from western New York. So, of course, our man Mike Randall pays a visit to the Trappist monks living in the hamlet of Pifford in Livingston County. It's quiet, serene, everything you would expect at a monastery. Cistercians or Trappists, our, our community of monks is known for silence and we do keep silence pretty strictly. According to Father Isaac Slater, here at the Abbey of the Genesee, the place is quiet most of the time. Everywhere except for the bakery. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to make bread quietly. You gotta work, I mean, that's, yeah. This is the birthplace of Monk's Bread, an impressive operation that began a long time ago with Brother Sylvester. When he entered the monastery, he made bread for the monks and then for our guests, everybody loved it and people kept asking for it. Can we buy this bread? This is so good, you know. So the monks went into business. Well, the monks started with one kind of bread in 1953, but now, 65 years later, they make more than a dozen varieties. They just took the wraps off their new store where visitors can pick up bread, biscotti, and other popular items. It supports our way of life here, which is basically, you know, focused on the, on the liturgy. Min runs the store. She's also an iconographer. Her works are on sale here. A few years ago, I studied with a Russian iconographer. So my, my images are unique because um, it's a combination of East and West. Min also is in charge of stocking the shelves with items produced here and at other abbeys. I have five different places that I ordered a soap from. The new store is open Monday to Saturday and briefly around mass times on Sundays. There's a lounge area where you can relax, enjoy coffee and something the Abbey of the Genesee has in great quantity, peace and quiet. For the Now Buffalo, I'm Mike Randall.